hi guys welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the uh, beta profile error or beta profile showing a prompt to update your iPhone you guys can see here when I just try to uh, unlock my iPhone every time it just shows a new iOS update is now available please update from the iOS 15 beta so this is the main problem I can say or I can say it is the main uh, error or a prompt showing again and again every time I unlocks my iPhone how to fix this so let's start I will show you the solution so guys in order to fix this problem we need to flash our iDevice but in this method we are not going to lose any data so firstly guys we need a uh, Windows PC we can also use this uh, without PC we can also fix this but a Windows PC is the best I can say that and there is no any data loss so just connect your iPhone with your Windows PC here and just place it uh, and, and place where we will not disconnect it or iPhone should not be disconnected by its own okay so you guys can see here so now in the computer we need a software which is known as 3 tool software so there we go I have already installed this tool here so you need to download this just hold on let me show you which is the software here so 3 tool is the name of the software and and uh, it you can download from www.3u.com and make sure you trust your iPhone in the iPhone you guys can see here, here is the trust pop-up make sure you tr click on trust option here so just click on trust and you guys can see here, here is the tool and it shows the storage full problem so just click on smart flash option here and you guys can see here, here is the option for 15.2 and in your case it should be changed or it, it can be same uh, you guys can see here is the option retain user data mode make sure you have selected this mode if you just have selected quick flash mode your data will be deleted so I will just recommend you to again recheck it it, it should be selected on retain user data mode so now click on this blue color flash icon here you guys can see here there's the blue color flash button just click on this one and again click on this blue color flash button here and now it shows find my iPhone is on in this method your iPhone will reboot number of time you guys can see here my iPhone just stops working and it will just show Apple logo then it will go in recovery mode and in this method your iPhone will uh, I can say disconnect number of time make sure just you stay away from your iPhone and do not disconnect your iPhone in this process if you disconnect it by any problem or however you disconnected your data will be lost so just hold on we wait for 15 minutes after 15 minutes you can check your iphone it will be turned on so just hold on let wait for 15 minutes so guys finally my phone has been successfully flashed you guys can see here it is showing apple logo but now we can disconnect how we can disconnect when your computer will show congratulations retain user data flash completed then you can disconnect your iphone with your from your computer and if you want to plug in you can plug in into your charger it will help in just charging your iPhone and now uh, after uh, five minutes or it depends upon your phone speed in two to three minutes your phone will be turned on so just hold on and after running on you need to activate your iPhone if you have success if you have set it on the quick flash mode if you have set it on the retain user data mode no need to activate or no need to enter your Apple ID so just hold on let it turn on so as you guys can see here my iPhone just successfully turns on and now I need to set up my iPhone here you guys can see here just you can skip the setup here and now just hold on let me show you that my iPhone will just continue in the home screen it just shows updating Apple ID settings if you, it asks for the Apple ID password I believe it will not ask for the Apple ID password you can continue without password here and you guys can see here I will just uh, skip the setup and I'm welcome in my home screen and now you will see that I have no any prompt like this one when I just try to unlock my iPhone it just usually unlocks without any prompt here you guys can see here no updation sign and now my iPhone is successfully updated on the normal official firmware here so uh, this is the simple fix hope you guys find this method helpful please guys share this video with your friends thanks for watching stay tuned thank you so much please subscribe to my channel